begins with brand new details on that shooting at Hooters. Happened Sunday night in the parking lot of the popular Augusta restaurant. Two women were hurt, two others got arrested. News Channel 6's Ashley Flette live outside Hooters right now. And Ashley, I know you got a chance to take a look at the surveillance video from Sunday night. Yes, Brad, I did. I spoke to the manager and he tells me that this is something that was boiling from previous encounters between the women. He says that one of them actually lost their phone the night before this happened and she traced it online to this Hooters here on Washington Road. And he says that's when it all went down. I was just puzzled by the moment. Avery McAlpine is the manager at Hooters. He says he was helping give food out to his customers when the fight broke out. You can see from this surveillance video the woman behind him is holding a gun on her waist as he tries to separate the group from the entrance. I one of the girls said, oh, y'all want to fight? And by then, you know, somebody shot a gun, you know, under my arm, and it went from there. Hey, I just shot somebody on that hooter. Investigators say Letitia Hill shot at one victim hitting her in the leg. Another victim was hit in the knee. Investigators say both victims were hit by the same bullet. Investigators have also identified Shabria Harewood. She was seen walking near the restaurant's entrance with an AK-47. I think that is just a wake-up call for us and just to be alert about everything, even though, like, you never know what can happen. He says everyone followed proper protocol when handling the situation. Anytime a fight about to break loose, we we going to call the police, period. So um, it's just a matter of time the police get here, which was... Pretty, pretty on point. When the restaurant opened on Monday, there was a counselor available to speak with employees. I wish we could just check people, you know, before they come here, because if I would have never went to that door, what could have happened? Hill is still on a $7,900 bond. Uh, Aisha Shaid is set for no bond, and those injuries sustained by those victims are not life-threatening. Live in Augusta, I'm Ashley Flett at WJBF News Channel 6.